Welcome to Pioneer Movie Review. I'm Luke. I'm Avery. And I'm Barry. Our film today is Spaceballs. Spaceballs is a Mel Brooks movie. It star it, the premise is Lone Star and his sidekick, Barf, uh, have to rescue Princess Vespa of Druidia from, uh, from the clutches of Dark Helmet and President Scroob. Also, the problem on the, the space balls takes place on a different galaxy than here on Earth. And the problem that they're facing on their galaxy is they're running out of air. And that's very vital to life. And so the, uh, the president of the planet Spaceball, President Scroob, played by Mel Brooks, comes up with a plan to uh, kidnap uh, Princess Vespa of Druidia and blackmail the planet Druidia into giving up all of its air so that space balls can have air again. And it's not just regular air that they're breathing, it's called peri air, a special kind of air that helps them breathe in that galaxy. So if you haven't caught on yet, Spaceballs is a parody movie. It's actually Mel Brooks who uh, co-wrote the movie, sent a copy of the script to George Lucas and got his tacit permission to do the parody. Uh, the only thing that George, George Lucas said was, you can't merchandise because he was making a lot of money off of the toys from Star Wars and he didn't want Spaceballs toys encroaching on that. Uh, one of my favorite parts from the movie Spaceballs was sort of near the beginning-ish where they, you have a uh, dark helmet and he walks in and he's trying to act all cool and stuff and he asked uh, where's the radar at because they're trying to figure out where on the radar the planet Druidia is because one of the, what did kind of like stormtroopers really? yeah yeah uh, one of the stormtrooper people uh, said that they were approaching the planet so dark helmet wanted to see where they were at and the reason that it stands out to me is because dark helmet walks up and then looks at the machine and is asking why the radar looks like this. And then one of the captains has to inform him that that's not the radar, that's the coffee machine. <laughs> and the radar is actually right beside it. And so I think that's just kind of a comedic tone yeah. to it. Also, one of my favorite things is about Dark, dark Helmet, I almost said Darth Vader, is because that's, like, that's who he wants to be. He's like, he tries to give off the vibes of Dark Vader, but he comes down in his very first scene, he comes down this entrance way and everyone's like standing still, like basically saluting him and like acknowledging like he is that guy. And then he comes down the aisle and he takes off his helmet and he's just like a, he's a normal sassy short guy underneath that helmet. And he's like, it's the most anticlimactic thing ever. So I'll tell you one of my favorite lines from the movie is uh, they're trying the Spaceballs and Dark Helmet are trying to ke catch up with Lone Star and he orders the commander of the spaceship to go to ludicrous speed. Uh, the commander responds with, uh, nobody's ever done that before. And Dark Helmet looks at him and says, what's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken? I found that very funny. Uh, so uh, I would say absolutely Go out and watch this movie. You're going to enjoy it. It is funny, but the jokes, they're a little bit older, but they're still very funny. I would agree 100%. It's very funny. My favorite, my favorite comedy scene from it was whenever they were trying to, like they were, it was on the, basically they had like a modern day Zoom call. The guy has his robe on and his crown on, like all kingish the way, like just a proper guy. And they were talking about their daughter, and they got their daughter tied up to a board because in a plastic surgeon, Beverly Hills Best, they say, comes in and is going to do a nose job. But she's already had a nose job. And then they flash forward to her nose before the nose job, and her nose, it was the ugliest nose I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And she's 
tied up on this board, and she's just screaming and saying, Ah, I don't want a nose job. I don't want a nose job. And he's saying, You already had a nose job. That was funny. So, again, consensus is go and see this movie. I'm Barry. I'm Avery. And I'm Luke. Join us next time for Pioneer Movie Preview.